Hey everybody, it's Chase with AV Pop Culture again, and tonight we are back for another episode of Dinner and a Movie, where we pair a themed food with the theme of a movie. So pop that tape in, I got you, let's go do this. All right, so we are back with round two, second episode of Dinner in a Movie, and this one probably could not be easier nor more fun. My favorite food in the world, probably my favorite go-to cheat comfort food is pizza. And when I think of pizza, there's only one movie. There is only one set of characters that I think of, and I am talking about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, how can you not... Now, the original movie, the original uh, few movies, everything else they've made since then, no thanks. Um, this movie, I took my little stepbrother to see. I think I was like 11 when this came out. And he was like six. <laughs> and I took him to see... Like, my parents dropped us off and we went in and saw this movie. We both loved... The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I still do. I still love this movie. And when you're thinking about having a fun themed food night where you make, and that's what this dinner in the movie is all about. It's about, uh, because we all love physical media, right? And, and it has so many advantages over streaming. It just has more soul to it. It has more touch, feel. You can have more of an experience with it. So if you didn't catch the first episode, for a long time with my kids, what we've been doing is uh, doing movie theme nights where we'll decorate the table and we will think about foods. Um, we'll, we'll think about what movie we want to watch. And then we'll think about a dinner and foods that we can do along with it. Like... Um, we did Jumanji uh, one time and uh, the one with the, or excuse me, the Jungle Cruise with The Rock. And um, we had like, we had stir fry shrimp and fried rice and um, like different things like that, like uh, kind of like a pan Asian mix. And then we had like um, some fish and fries and like just this sort of, we made everything kind of go with the theming of uh, of the Jungle Cruise. So that's kind of what we're doing here. I think the last episode I mentioned, like with Ghostbusters, one of the first ones we did. Uh, when you think of New York and the Ghostbusters, you either think pizza, New York style pizza, or you think like Chinese takeout, things like that. And in the movie, uh, they ate Chinese takeout. So that's what we did. So... We try to theme our dinner along with the movie. We kind of decorate the table up with some um, decorations. We put the movie on a now playing stand. And it just kind of makes it seem like a grand fun event. And it's something that you don't, you're don't, you not going to get with streaming. It's not going to be the same. It is not going to be the same way. Uh, this is physical media uh, at its finest. It's things that you can do with it uh, that you can't do with streaming. And... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I mean, the pizza is a big part of who they are. And even in this movie, it makes a big appearance. Uh, Michelangelo's sitting there in the sewer, and he's gazing up at the moonlight through the sewer grates and everything. And Donatello comes and sits next to him, and he's like, nice night. And Michelangelo's like, yep, pizza dude's got 30 seconds. Pizza dude's got 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. And that's uh, for you guys out there that are young. It used to be Domino's would deliver 30 minutes or less or you got three bucks off. And everything used to be, I mean, pizza guys used to be out there like back in the day. You think it's impressive now? You can put an order in over the Internet. It still may take them an hour or so to get here. They got GPS. Back in the day, you could call Domino's, order a pizza. They would write it down on a notepad, cook your pizza, put it in uh, the container, send it out with a delivery driver with no GPS, no cell phone, because those weren't around, and like friggin' Magellan, he'd find your house, and all of that would happen in under 30 minutes. That's impressive. We've actually taken a step back there. But uh, 
It was, and then the guy couldn't find it in the movie, and uh, he gives him ten. Michelangelo gives him ten dollars, and the guy's like, "Hey, this is ten. The tab's 13. He's like, "Ah, you're thirty seconds late, dude." And you know, it's like tough shit. But when you're thinking about pairing something up, pizza and the Ninja Turtles go together perfect. And uh, uh, we're not gonna spend a ton of time talking about this movie. It's more of just a spotlight to get you guys thinking about what you can do with physical media and your family and have fun and give you ideas. Uh, I think the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles live action movie is by far the best. I think it's a film that took a cartoon and comic book and took it seriously. And they looked real. I still think they look better than like anything they've done with CGI and stuff like that. I think the original is just so much better. I love Raphael in the original and his interaction with Casey Jones. Um, You know, a fella nunchucker, eh? Michelangelo. There's so many things in this movie that I love. Um, I, I still think it's the best. I actually, I make custom slip cases and, uh, I have actually started tinkering around with one. Um, I haven't even cut them out yet. I just had them printed. So like this, uh, just classic artwork would be the cover. This is, it's extra wide cause this folds down and those would be the sides. And then the back, I'm not really happy with it came out a little dark, but, um, there it is kind of super cool. And uh, a friend of my wife's who works with her, Erica, she's a big Ninja Turtles fan. And she's also not happy with just like the case and and the plain old artwork and things like that. So she was like, hey, you think Chase could make some art? And I was like, sure. You know, um, uh, Rich is like, my friend Erica wants to know, you know, could you do Ninja Turtles? And I'm like, I'll give it a whirl. I still got a little tinkering to do with the back. But uh, I do love the front, the classic poster design there. And, uh, you know. Custom slips and things uh, things like that. Sometimes I'll do my own like pop art paintings. Like I painted Frankenstein back here. I'll do my own pop art stuff to add to the custom slips. And those are kind of things that you can get too if you join the channel. Like sometimes I uh, like one of the perks is to get custom slips or some of my movies and things like that. So, you know, I love doing it and uh, I like sharing it with you guys. So I wanted to show you that. But uh, it's killing me not having a bite of this pizza yet. And uh, we had a big smorgasbord of pizza tonight. Um, we got a big box of pizza. There is stuffed crust pizza. There's pan pizza. There's cheese bread. There's all kinds of stuff. I'm going to have a classic bite of pepperoni. All right, dinner in a movie. We're going classic Pizza Hut. To me, uh, this looks like the old Bigfoot pizza box. This is their big dinner box. Got some garlic sauces over here. My daughter's little side personal pan pizzas don't look like they used to. Big dinner box has got it going on. Couple of pan pizzas, some cheese bread, some wings for my son who does not eat pizza very often. It's looking good. I think this one's got tomatoes, mushrooms, and onions. This one's got pepperoni, uh, Italian sausage, and jalapenos. And then the cheese bread's looking real good. All right, time to pair that up with a movie. I'm kind of a pizza snob. And this is pretty good. Um... We went with sort of the fast food pizza style because that's what the Ninja Turtles do, right? They weren't ordering like, um, like we get, uh, we have like a craft pizza place here, a couple of them, uh, Mellow Mushroom and Fratelli's, and you can get really good pies there. And, um, but you know, that's kind of like next level. I don't think Ninja Turtles when I think that. I think Domino's, I think Pizza Hut, Papa John's. That's what I think when I think of Ninja Turtles. And it's just the fun of doing it. It makes it a whole experience. Um, That's what makes it fun. Like it's something that we can share and then you can share it with your family. Like, um, you know, you can do 
It doesn't have to be pizza and Ninja Turtles. Like we're, I'm going to try to give you guys ideas every time that I do one of these videos. Um, my wife will help me come up with the menus as we pair and go through some of your favorite all-time movies and some that you aren't thinking about. And we'll have a lot of fun making up these menus. And when you're watching Ninja Turtles, it kind of makes you want pizza because you just think about the cartoon when you're a kid and then they're ordering pizza and they're eating pizza in the movie. And then there's even the part where they love pizza so much that they're eating the moldy pizza and I always think about it. And he's like, is there any pizza left in there? And he's like, I don't know. It depends. Do you like penicillin on your pizza? Because <laughs> it's molded, right? They're going to eat it anyway. I love it. Um, of course, this is... Um, it kind of skews from the, the, the cartoon a little bit. I mean, you don't have like Bebop and Rocksteady uh, like you had in the cartoon or in the video game. Video game was one of them, awesome video game, uh, arcade game too. Um, so you don't have them and uh, Shredder and the whole backstory with Hurukusaki and uh, Splinter and all those things is told very interestingly and it's... Um, gives a little more detail and it's different if you just watch the cartoon growing up it's a little bit different but the way the turtles look especially for like 1990 this movie came out in 1990 um this is the blu-ray no 4k still no 4k on this who knows um but this this came out in 1990 and to me the way the turtles look in this is still better than anything they've come up with since. It still holds up, in my opinion. Like, my kids, my son just turned 13, my daughter just turned 12. They watch it, no problem. They, they grew up with all the other digital and CGI. They watch it, they totally buy it. It still holds up. And then um, Casey Jones, um, I think uh, Elias Costas, um, is that how you say his name? I, I never pronounce his name right. Um... I think he did a great job as um, uh, Casey Jones. And then you have like April O'Neil, Judith Hogue. Like she's a little bit different. Like going into this, I was, you know, 11. So I was cartoon thinking and maybe a little comic books. And I was like expecting April O'Neil to be a little bit different. And she works at like Channel 3 News in the, in the movie and in the cartoon. She works for like Channel 6. And I just remember those little subtle differences in the Foot Clan they pretty much look the same. Um, and then you have like the voices done by like, you know, uh, Corey Feldman is one of the voices in here. And uh, that's a lot of fun. You know, he was at the top of his game during that time. And uh, you can definitely, you you hear Corey Feldman. Did I say Corey came? You hear Corey Feldman uh, in that voice. And, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. Um, Raphael is my favorite and he's my favorite in the movie. Um, and, you know, he's kind of a badass. I love when he's getting into it with Casey Jones and he's like, you got to know what a crumpet is to understand cricket. Nobody plays cricket. Uh, and uh, he's like, I'll teach you, you know, six runs and he hits him and knocks him, you know, to the sky. I also love that Raphael is like going to like a midnight movie in the uh, in in the Ninja Turtles movie. And uh, make sure you check out my midnight movie series because that's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't recommend that one for 11 year olds. Uh, but I, I don't know. It's just something totally vibe. There's a grittiness to the original Ninja Turtles that they kind of lose later, even with Secret of the Ooze and all. I'm like, there's a little bit of grungy grittiness, uh, down and dirty uh, realism in the original that isn't there later. And then with all this CGI shit later, forget about it. Uh, but this is the one that we chose to do for dinner and a movie. And of course it's pizza. I mean, of course it's pizza. Uh, and my pizza is sitting here getting cold and we cannot have that. So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. These are just going to be quick looks. They're, they're really meant to share some of what... I do here with my family and how we we make physical media and movies more of an event, more of a grand thing that my children will remember and then hopefully take up uh, the want to have 
physical media with these great memories and these great experiences and take that further to the next generation, pass it down. Those are the kind of things that we want to do. And sometimes it'll be a little more in depth, but I mean, you know, it's Ninja Turtles and pizza. So, you know, it's the, we've seen Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles. Awesome. We need a 4K. Umbrella just did a nice release where they have a bet, it, it, but it's still a Blu-ray. They have a better case and thing and and it's similar to the one that I made. And but that's all that's really going. We need a 4K for that. But this is a way, hopefully throughout these videos, you'll, it'll give you ideas of how to incorporate movies and physical media with your family. So it's not just contained here on YouTube and where it's, you know, an event and something that's a lot of fun that makes memories, memories that attach to the physical media in a way that streaming could never do. Uh, food brings us together. Food marks special occasions in all of our lives, whether it's Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Fourth of July, it doesn't matter. I want to bring that to the quintessential dinner and a movie that is an American staple. And uh, hopefully this will give you guys some ideas and uh, you can share that with your family and have a little glimpse into my family. Because what what I get on here and, then you know, we're we're going to eat and watch the movie. And that's that's what we're going to do. And uh, that's what we're going to do right now. So if you've enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, share all that. It helps me with the algorithm. It helps me get it out there. If you want to stick around and help support the channel, you can hit a super thanks. You can join. It's a couple of bucks a month. Uh, there's different levels. You can get more stuff, more perks, but you don't have to do any of that to stay. To support me, just like, subscribe. I appreciate, of course, all that stuff helps the channel, but I'm just so glad to be sharing all this with you, and I hope that I can bring some different things and that you all enjoy it. And uh, until next time, be kind, rewind like always. This is Chase with AV Pop Culture, and I'll see you real soon. <laughs> Cowabunga, dudes! <laughs> I know.